It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to this special edition of Science Bowl. The two teams you are about to meet, yes, they are going to vie today for the chance to be the third of the four semifinalists in this year's competition. Let's meet our teams right now. Let's go first to Kenmore Middle School and say hello to Isatu Jawara. John Watson and Diego Bustillo. And from William Wirt Middle School, would you please welcome Victoria Espinoza, Andy Herrera, and Eric Herrera. Yes, they're cousins. <laughs> and now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on the Science Bowl, our game board reflects question difficulty with easier questions on the left, the five and 10 pointers, tougher ones, 15, 20, and 25, toughest questions of them all. We start our teams out at 50 points, no penalties ever for incorrect answers. And to the two rounds today, we will have our third semifinalist. Yes, joining Hyattsville and Martin Luther King. Let's go over and make sure everything works properly. John, could you try the red team's buzzer? All right, looking and sounding good. Good luck to you and to Isa too and to Diego. Andy, give it a push if you would. Seems A-OK. -okay. Good luck to you, to Eric and Victoria. Nice to have you all here. Congratulations on making it this far in the competition. You guys are the elite science bowl players. We're going to have a good game today. If a better team win, we go alphabetically, as is our habit. K before W, so Kenmore and John, let's play this bowl. Zoo Parade for 10. Zoo Parade for 10 points. Teams, the Endangered Species Act no longer applies to these seal-like mammals that have long canines. Kenmore. Walrus. Walruses, yeah, and they got mustaches too. I wonder if they ever trim them. Okay, go red. Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, if you're dieting, you should know that nutritionists say that each gram of this equals nine kilograms. Kenmore. Um, I'll pass it to Diego. Diego. Ah. Fat it is. Each kilogram, this, each kilogram of fat equals nine kilocalories. All right, each gram rather. Go again, red. Let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. All right, teams. We know that stars, smaller stars, when they die, they simply collapse into white dwarfs. Bigger stars explode and then collapse into these. Kenmore. Black holes? Black holes is right. Yeah, you gave me that look. Like, that can't possibly be right. Yes, it is. Good. Go. Red. Science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. All right, teams. Crash Bandicoot. If you play video games, you know about Crash. Yeah, Insane Trilogy is the newest game. A bandicoot in real life is one of these kinds of pouched mammals. Kenmore. A kangaroo? Not a kangaroo. Andy, a bandicoot is one of these kinds of pouched mammals. Marsupials. Marsupials, that's a good answer. All right, green's on the board, go. Uh, green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. All right, teams, you know, botanically speaking, vegetable is a noun sometimes, but it is also used as one of these descriptive words. Adjective. Add adjective. An adjective, yes, it's often used as an adjective. Nicely done, go red. Dateline for 10. Dateline, 10 points. All right, teams, your question is as follows. Uh, Nancy Grace Roman is now a little Lego figure. She is known as the mother of what famous space? Kenmore? Hubble. Hubble, the space telescope. Yes, yeah, she is the mother of the Hubble. 
Yeah, go. Red. All right, we're done with the tens. Where next? Um, green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Teams, there are three kinds of carbohydrates in a plant stock. There are the indigestible fibers, the cellulose, and then there are these two kinds of carb carbohydrates that we do eat and can digest. Ken Moore. What you got? Um, leaves and stem. Not leaves and stems, the two kinds of carbohydrates that we can eat, we do it's eat, and we can yeah. digest. Uh, starches and sugars. Yeah, good comeback. Well done, Eric. Said that's the way to do it. Worked. Good. Go, Andy. Uh, Zoo prayed for 15. Zoo prayed for 15 points. Hemolymph in insects is equivalent to this liquid in vertebrates. Ken Moore. Blood plasma? Blood. Blood we will take. Blood plasma is fine. Good. Go. Red. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams. Snakes and spiders, if they give you the heebie-jeebies, that's natural because it is inborn. You can prove it by showing pictures of spiders and snakes to babies and watch these parts of their eyes dilate. Pupils. Ken Moore? Pupils. pupils, yeah, their pupils dilate. No, and whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know what this is, but I don't like it. Go red. Oh, um, let's, let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points, teams. Marble is a metamorphic rock that started its life as this. Limestone. Limestone, absolutely right. I was going to say, what kind of sedimentary rock? The kind you find in caverns with stalactites and stalagmites. Diego was way ahead of me. Limestone is what it started out originally. Good. Red. Science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points, teams. There is in this country a super volcano just underneath this national... Uh, Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone National Park, absolutely, Andy. And if it explodes, it would cover the whole country in ash. There was a special on that recently on television. All right, green, go. You're at 90. Uh, green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams, what same E initial term is a developmental stage in the life of a plant and? Embryo. Embryo and in animals. Very good, good. Red, John. Um, Dateline signs for 15. Dateline signs for 15 points. Teams, back in World War I, there was a scientist by the name of uh, Dr. Lewis Wright, an African-American, who pioneered the use of chemo what to treat? Therapy. Chemotherapy to treat cancer patients. Absolutely right. A noted oncologist. All right, that buzzer says our first round is over. Boy, do we have some good players here today. Let's look at that score. 90 for William Wirt, 180 for Kenmore. Lots of points still to be given away. We will back, be back in just a moment. Don't go away. Welcome back to Size Bowl. So nice to have you here playing along with us and witnessing this uh, match that will decide a semifinalist in the middle school competition. If you've not met these young people before, let's give you the pleasure. Let's go over to Kenmore Middle School. And John, boy, you guys are playing so well. You must practice a lot together. Yes, yes yeah. we do. It shows very much and you've been reading, you've been keeping up on the news and there, there is reason why Kenmore is the winningest school in Science Bowl's 32 year history and I know you would like to repeat that championship this year. Tell me about your school, John. Who's your principal? Miss Fodley. Miss Fodley is out there tonight. She's been a great supporter of Science Bowl for many years. And Miss Sanchez is your coach this year and she, what a debut performance. Miss Sanchez, her first year as coach and she's doing, she's done such a nice job here. Any alternates, John? Yes, sir. We have Abby. Abby, Abby. and she'll be out in a moment. And Isa, too, it's nice to have you here because I know you were not on set for the first time when Kenmore was playing. Uh, John, tell me uh, about Kenmore. Someone told me last year that there's a philosophy club at Kenmore. Is that true? I'm not really sure about that, but I hope there is for <laughs> the philosophers out there aspiring to be. What a great answer. Tell me what uh, other kinds of clubs you have at the school that you really like. Well, we have art club, we have robotics. dance dance club, robotics, yeah. and all yeah. sorts yeah. of fun activities. Yeah, and of course you've got Science Bowl, right? Science Bowl's a good club, and you part you guys are the, the leading members of that. Someday, what do you want to do, John? I want to be a research scientist or a geneticist. Wow. I like your attitude, and I like the, the discipline you have, and you've got great stage presence, and you're going to be successful, whatever you choose. Nice to have you here today. You're welcome. Diego, nice to have you back. This young man is back for his third or maybe fourth time now, right? Third. 
Yeah, well, tell us, uh, tell us about science, but what does this do for you? What do you like being here? Um, yeah, science has been my favorite subject since, yeah, since I started school. Yeah. Um, yeah, so um, Science Bowl will help because since um, I'm striving to be an engineer, Absolutely. Um, yeah, science obviously will help in that field. And I, yeah, That's it, it joins me with my friends. And you know, and STEM, you know, science, technology, engineering, and math, they're all together there. So yes, indeed. So if you're headed for engineering, this is all part of the plan here. You're a real good player, Diego. Nice to have you back. Isa, too. Nice to have you here. Mm -hmm. Tell us about yourself. What do you do in your spare time? Um, if I'm not doing debate or, like, I do a lot of things, including debate, which is actually, I do, um, is fun. Mm -hmm. I, um, uh, just last Saturday, we went into a competition. We got three out of four, which is actually fun because it was my first time. And I just like, I want to try new things because I haven't been, I haven't been out there and stuff. But I want to try doing them now. That's right. Always challenge yourself, and it sounds like you're doing that. And congratulations on your debate performance. And you've been on the show before, have you not? No, it's my first time. First time. Well, you're doing a nice job, and uh, you're part of a terrific team here. Let's go over to William Wirt. Andy, tell us the William Wirt story. Principal. Uh, Miss Simley. And the coach. Uh, Dr. Hara. And he shares your last name, but that's all, right? No relationship. Wonderful man. Uh, a professional mycologist uh, studies fungi. I remember he was a judge here for us, and we appreciated that. Uh, alternate on your team was uh, Victoria. Who is it now? Uh, Alexis and uh, Madison. And they'll be out in just a few moments here. Brag about William Wirt to me. Well, uh, we have, uh, we have, we have uh, lots of clubs, and uh, well, I. I I, we have Avid too, you know. Yeah, all right. And, and I know you have good teachers there. You told me that once before, you know, and uh, that's, that's the, what they call it, raison d'etre. That's the reason for a school uh, to be there, to have good teachers. Uh, you're obviously a good student. What do you want to do someday? Uh, uh, I would like to be a CIA agent or a marine biologist. Yeah, we were talking about that before, and certainly the two are not mutually exclusive. You could do both of those things. I know you could. You're a good captain. And Eric, uh, uh, is he a good cousin? Yeah. Yeah? Are you best buds off camera too? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, tell me the Eric story. What do you do in your spare time? In my spare time, I play a, a lot of sports in general, and but especially basketball. Yeah, do you play on an organized team? No, I'm going to try out for William Hart. That's mm, wonderful, on yeah. On Wednesday. Be a scholar athlete. Yeah, you got the scholar part down already here. Good player. Victoria, nice to have you here for the first time. Why'd you want to be on the show? Well, I love science because there's never enough that you can know. There's always new things being discovered. Isn't that the truth? Absolutely. I mean, there's so much out there. What do you want to do when you get older? I would like to be a lawyer or a crime scene investigator. Wow. All right. We've got that CSI and lawyer and debate thing going on here today. You guys are all, uh, you're all great students. Let's get back into our game. 180 for Ken Moore, 90 for William Wirt. Lots of points to give away. And last correct answer came from John. So, John, let her rip. Um, Body systems for five. Body systems for five points. All right, teams, your question is as follows. It turns out it doesn't increase your chances of getting arthritis if you crack your what? Knuckles. Knuckles, that's right. But, oh, you just like to do it, yeah. But no, no harm done. Go red. Body systems for 20. Body systems, 20 points. Teams, it turns out that parasites have figured out a way to avoid this body system. Immune. The immune, immune system, yeah. So somehow, you know, they have a protective device and the immune system just lets the tapeworms alone. <laughs> okay, red, go. Zuprate for five. Zuprate for five. Zuprate for five points. Teams, there is a Disney series about students that uh, they are advanced, uh, they are natural, and they are talented. So the name of the program sounds like it's an insect program. It's called This Farm. Ant Farm. Ant Farm is right. Yeah, it's a middle school in San Francisco, and these three kids, they're, they're pretty sharp, like you guys. Go. Zoop parade for 20. Zoop parade for 20 points. Whether you are a slug, or a snail, or a clam, or an oyster, you all belong to this M initialed club. Ken Moore. Oh, my pass at the Isotope. Isotope, what are they? Yeah, doesn't know. William Wirt, the slugs and the snails and the clams and the oysters, they all belong to this M initial club. Uh, mollusks. Mollusks was the right answer. Go again, red. Um, let's get physical for five. Get physical for five points. Teams, the tenth largest object orbiting the sun was once what? Ninth planet. 
Uh, Pluto. William Hort? Pluto. Pluto, yeah. I say we get a petition together and we bring Pluto back. I miss him. I miss him. Okay, go again. Green. Uh, let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, if you take nitrogen and hydrogen and you subject them to high pressure, you get a molecule called NH3, which we know as Kenmore. Hydrogen nitrate? No, William Word. NH3, a combination of nitrogen and three atoms of hydrogen, has a very strong odor and we use it to clean our houses. We call it household what? Cleaners. Ammonia. Ammonia. Go again, green. Uh, science potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points. All right, teams. Just as Charles Darwin observed on his finches on the island of the Galapagos, on the Galapagos Islands, so too have British researchers discovered that the wrens in Britain have increased the size of these to better get at the food in the bird feeders. Kenmore? Beaks? They're beaks, yeah, they're beaks of length, and it is evolution happening on a rapid, at a rapid pace. Go. Oh. Um. Green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, boy, Charlie Brown would call one of these giant gourds a great one because it came in, John? Pumpkin. Pumpkin, 2,363 pounds worth of it at a California contest. I'd say that's a great pumpkin. You bet. Go red. Dateline size for 20. Dateline for 20 points. Teams, the Pope got very angry at this Italian scientist for his heliocentric theory of the solar system. Kenmore. Galileo. Galileo, absolutely right. He was excommunicated. He was kicked out of the Catholic Church as a result. He was right, though, as we know. Go red. Good answer, Diego. Um, science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. All right, teams. You know, if you get a cold, you could go to the CVS, or you could open up a can of this soup and feel better. That chicken soup? Chicken soup. That's it, Andy. Good. Go. Uh, Green things for 25. Green things for 25. Big one in that category has a visual question. Look at the monitor in the studio, if you would, please. All right, uh, this is a magnolia blossom, beautiful flower that grow, that blooms on a tree. There are different species, and they have different species names. Like, there is one called Granda flora, which means great flower. And then there's another one called Macrophylla, which means, as you can see there, what? White flower. What's that? White flower. Not white flower. Granda flora means big flower. Macrophylla means what that you can see there? Uh, um, small pestle. Macro is big. Phylla oh, means leaves. Holy, big leaves. Beautiful flower. Big flower. Big leaves. Go again, red. Uh, oh, sorry. You got to um, pick one first. Zoo parade. <laughs> 25. Zoo parade 25. All right, teams. An animal in the zoo, in a cage, we don't describe that as imprisonment, but rather an animal that is in what? In what, okay. Kenmore? Captivity. Captivity. That's what I want to hear. Nicely done. Go, Rick. Body systems for 25. Body systems for 25 points. Visual question. Look at the monitor, please. Back in the Civil War, General Sickles was hit by a cannonball, and they had to amputate his lower leg. That lower leg is now in a museum here in Washington. I'll give you 25 points if you can tell me the names of the two lower leg bones that you see shattered there. Kenmore. Femur and shin. Not femur and shin, nope. William Bird, I didn't see you talking among yourselves. Do you have a suggestion for me? The names of the two lower leg bones. The tibia and the fibula. And General Sickles, he used to visit his leg at the museum once a year on Christmas. Go again, red. Um, Let's get physical for 25. 25 points, a three-part answer. Listen carefully. The origin of wedding rings is actually in the collision of neutrons in the universe because those collisions produce what three precious metals that we use for making rings. Three precious metals for 25 points. John. Diamonds, gold, and silver. Ooh, close, close. Three precious metals, William Work, give them to me, used to make wedding rings and so many other things. Uh, platinum, gold, and silver. Yeah, that's the way to do it. I like that comeback. Go green. Uh, science potpourri for 25. Science potpourri for 25 points. Teams, animals can live together in prides like lions do, but if you're a penguin or an ant, 
You live in? Colonies. Colonies, that's exactly right. Last question of the game, Dateline for 25 points. Governor Hogan would like to build a maglev train from Washington to New York. Maglev is short for what? Le Can Magnetic levitation. Magnetic levitation it is, and with that, we congratulate Ken Moore. We'll be back with a wrap up in just a moment. Don't go away. Welcome back, what a game. Yes, we were looking for a third semifinalist and we got one. Our final tally today is William Wirt, 125. Ken Moore, 330. Congratulations to Diego and John and Isa too, and Abigail and Miss Sanchez. We will see you in the semifinals. And let's have a nice round of applause for William Wirt. Super game. Eric and Andy and Victoria, Alexis and Madison and Dr. Herrera. Make sure you bring another team back next year. We loved having you here and we, we loved having you too. See you next time on another edition of Science Bowl. I'm Dave Zarin. Until then, bye-bye.